Canvas recently released their new rich content editor, which is for those of us that have been doing this for a while, the what you see is what you get editor. In today's video, I'm just going to briefly show you the process of embedding an image using the new rich content editor. Let's go ahead and get to it. So the new rich content editor will show up any place in Canvas where you can edit text. And so this can be editing pages, but most often folks experience this when replying and making discussion posts. So let's go ahead and look at a discussion post as a good example of how to do this. So I'm in my course cafe with just as a general discussion post right now, and I want to embed an image in a reply. So I'm going to click the reply button here. And this is going to bring up the new rich content editor that you can see in this bar across the top. There's a bunch of different features, most of which you're probably familiar with, such as editing the text and changing the alignment. But the tool that we want to look at today is this one right here. When you thumb over it, it says images, and this is the tool that you need to click on to embed an image into a post. So let's go ahead and try it out. I'm going to click on it and just like the option to upload image. That's going to bring up the upload image tool. And as you can see, there are a couple of different ways to do it. You can actually just plug a URL in here. You can search images on Unsplash, or if you have an image on your computer that you want to attach, you can do that from here. Now, it does have drag and drop functionality, which is pretty nice because you can just bring up the image file on your desktop, drag it, drop it, and it's good to go. But I'm going to go the old fashioned way. and I'm going to click here and attach an image that is located on my hard disk. So you can see that I've got an image sitting on my desktop that I want to embed of a microphone. I'm going to go ahead and click on it and then click open. The image will show up here and then I'm going to click submit. And there it is. The other thing I want to show is that there are some options built in. And this is kind of important, especially when it comes to accessibility. So if you click down here under options, so click on the image select options which will pop up and you can see over in the side that this image option comes up and so one of the things that you want to do is add alt text for your images so that they're accessible and i'm just going to say a photo of a microphone got that on there and then it should be good to uh good to go if you're doing like you know, images that aren't necessarily needing a description, such as decorative images, you can check this box, but for almost everything, you're gonna wanna have alt text put in there. Uh, you can also change the size of the image. So if you want it to show up a little bit bigger, you can change it to uh, to uh, large or large or add a custom size here or shrink it, uh, shrink it down. So all these are nice and honestly are a fair amount easier to use than the previous uh, tool was. All right, I am done here. So my image is good to, uh, to go. I'm gonna go ahead and click post on my reply. And now I've submitted my reply with my embedded image. Why this might be a little bit uh, a little bit different if you're making a page or setting up an assignment, the general process is the same, and it seems to be a pretty uh, big improvement over the former content editor. All right, well, that is how to embed an image using Canvas's new rich content editor. Thanks for watching.